Chapter 11 to 12. In a room, Gabby is sitting alone in the room with her face close to her knees. They're devils, though. So, why am I? At the same time, Aaron and Mikasa walk into the room. He says, hey Gabby, right? What? What do you want? Gabby asks, if you want to save Falco, just help us. Aaron says, Gabby is shivering in fear and asks, help you? How? Call for help on the radio to flush out intruders in the walls. Aaron says, but just before he can continue, Peek is already there as she is aiming the gun at Aaron's head. Aiden. Mikasa tries to aim her rifle at Peek, but she yells, don't move and keep quiet, Gabby. Aaron also stops Mikasa and says, just do as he says, Mikasa. Mikasa frowns as she lowers her rifle. I take it you're Aaron Yeager, correct? Peek asks, Gabby, aim the rifle at the Ackerman girl. Gabby slowly takes the rifle to the ground and aims at Mikasa, but Mikasa doesn't seem to move as well. Hands out of your pockets, Peek says. And what if I refuse? Aidan asks. I'll pull the trigger and your brain hits the floor. Ever seen it? No time to transform. Not only that, your girlfriend over there will also be shot at the same time. Peek says with a cool and calm tone. And? Why don't you pull it? If not, why else are you here? What happens if I don't listen? Aidan asks. That's something you'll never know. Once your brains hit, Peek is cut off by Aaron. I do know. You won't shoot, and neither will Gabby. Then he steps forward at the gun, putting his head at it. You aren't allowed to kill the founding titan. Your orders are just to retake it. But for that, you'll have to turn into a titan and eat me alive. Right? Mikasa is still surprised at the calm tone Aaron is giving them. Maybe because he already knows everything about this part. Gabby, take your finger off the trigger. Peek says calmly, causing Gabby to be confused. You're not the only one who would pay for defying the military. Your family in the zone would, too. Aaron says, yeah, I won't shoot. And eating you doesn't seem possible either, so. She puts her own hands up, pulling the gun away from his head and casually surrendering. Peek, Gabby asks with confusion. You found my Titan footprints from when I invaded, right? I thought I did well sneaking into your midst without being caught. But I have other reasons for not shooting. Peek says, if you used the founding Titan's power, couldn't you defeat Marley? Aaron just stares at her without saying anything. You wouldn't make the world your enemy unless you knew you could win. Do you have something more than the founding titan? Peek. What are you? Gabby asks, now trying to aim the rifle at Aaron instead. Gabby, put down the rifle. Peek says, supposing I did, what's your goal? Aidan asks, to free all Eldians in Marley and around the world. I want to free my family in the internment zone. Peek says, I became a warrior to get my dad, my only family, proper medical care. He survived but he's incredibly sad knowing my term will soon be over. Before I do and leave him behind, I want to show him Eldia has a bright future. For that, Marley needs to be crushed. I'll help however I can. If we can slaughter Marley, I'll do whatever it takes. Aaron and Mikasa look at each other at first, and Gabby says, the mastermind of the attack on Marley was Zeke. Now you, what have we been fighting for? Once the world knows that we're good Eldians, won't they let us go free? You're the same as Zeke a traitor. Peek then approaches Gabby and says, Gabby, are we Marleyans or are we Eldians? What do you think? We're honorary Marleyans. Gabby responds in a quivering voice. Wrong. We are subjects of Emer. That's the one truth we can't escape. Peek pulls the gun away from her own face and out of Gabby's grasp. No matter what we're called, we're a race that turns into titans. She continues, leaning into Gabby's face. But like we saw at Fort Slava, titan power is on its way out. As soon as Marley can't use us, they'll slaughter us all. Even if we prove we're good Eldians, there's zero chance that we're freed. We have to secure our right to live with our own hands. Just then, Peek feels a zap from her body. She wonders, what is that? You must have felt the zapping, that was the founding titan's power. If you're going to cooperate with us, show us you mean it. Peek thinks, damn, no wonder he's the world's greatest enemy. To think the power of the founding titan is so strong. But if that's the case, why didn't he use it back in Liberio? Does that mean he was holding back all this time? I have to play this safely. She says, I'll show you where my comrades are. And how are you going to do it? Mikasa is the one asking. If we go to the roof, I can point out where they are. Peek says, Aaron knows that when he gets to the roof, Porco Galliard is going to ambush him with the power of the Jaw Titan. He decides that he is not going to transform for this battle. Fine. While Yelena is talking to Armin and the others in the cell about Zeke's plan, Sasha is talking to Anyankapon privately. Anyankapon, you didn't tell Yelena about our own rumbling plan, right? Anyankapon says, I didn't, and neither does any one of our volunteers. 
although I still think that having my homeland trampled by the rumbling is still wrong. It might be wrong, but you have to remember about this. Our first titan, Emer, was able to cultivate lands, build bridges, and amass wealth. Once the rumbling is over, Eren will do the same thing. Besides, didn't we manage to bring your loved ones to the island to avoid the disaster? With Aya Newman's help, we will also send a lot of flying boats to save the children as well. You're right about that. But still, Anyankapan sighs. Just then, a Yigarist rushes into the cell, and Sasha asks, What is it? Soldier. Come quick. Invaders. The Yigarist says, and it causes everyone to gasp. But Sasha doesn't seem to be phased as she sighs. So it has come. While walking on the stairs, Gabby and Peek are right behind Eren and Mikasa while they advanced. Is it safe to say you and I are allies now? If you can point out the other invaders, Eren says, until then you'll be cuffed to Gabby. If you try to transform, she'll bite the dust. Don't worry, this kid will come around soon enough, Peek says. Traveling through more of the halls, Gabby looks concerned. Hey, where is Falco? Mikasa frowns and says, Falco's here too, but it seems he drank some of Zeke's spinal fluid. Both Peek and Gabby share a look of surprise. How? Who knows? Eren responds. They're saying the wine with spinal fluid got in his mouth. Is that when? Gabby begins as she remembers how she reveals to Nicolo that she's the one who killed Sasha. And Nicolo throws Falco to the wine with the spinal fluid. Gabby! Peek questions. It's my fault. Again. Gabby mutters. I see. You took over the military with Zeke's spinal fluid. Peek says. Do you know why Zeke even has an ability like that? Yeah, I know, I can also do the same thing as well. Eren says. Mikasa stares at him with a frown. But I'm fighting for Eldians, so I am not going to turn them into titans with the spinal fluid. As expected from the king of Eldia, Peek says. To think you would care for your own people to even go against the world for it. Ever since I met Zeke, I felt like Zeke was telling lie after lie. For years ago, I confirmed that hunch. Only with you did his words seem true. Believe me, I know what you're going through, Aaron. Someday, I'm coming back to rescue you. If anyone, I thought he'd tell you about his secret power. For example, it can draw out the founding titan's power or something. He may be able to find that out, but to us, it is no use. Eren replies, still in a cool tone. When they reach the top, Yelena and the others, including Gloria, Aya, Peter, Odom, Louise, and Anyankapan are standing there. Eren, it's not safe to trust that woman. Yelena says, yeah, I don't trust her either, but it's mutual. Eren replies back. By the way, aren't you using the founding titan's power? Where's Zeke? Peek asks. You'll find out soon enough. Show me. Where's the enemy? Eren says. The Yigarists are preparing for the battle, while Eren is also preparing his ODM gear. Several moments pass. Peek grabs Gabi's hand and then points at Eren. There. Peek grabs Gabi as they duck away, and the ground beneath Eren collapses as the jaw titan lunges for him. Eren. Mikasa yells in horror, but Eren's eyes glow as he finds that all of his surroundings are stopped, and he quickly uses the ODM gear to bring him out of the jaw titan's mouth. Then he blinks again as time continues. I'm here, Eren says, which causes everyone to widen their eyes in shock. How was that even possible? I thought I got him, Porco yells. Mikasa asks, Eren, are you alright? Yeah, time manipulation helps a lot. Eren replies. Galliard, Gabby gasps. I know it wouldn't be easy, Peek mutters. Peek, you're not a traitor, Gabby asks. Peek keeps her arm tightly around Gabby. Gabby, you thought I'd sell out my comrades. But you said we have no future fighting for Marley, Gabby says. Look, Peek outs up in the air. Five Marleyan military airships are hanging in the sky, approaching the city. I don't trust Marley, Peek explains. But I do trust the comrades I've fought alongside. Gloria stands beside Eren and says, It is just like you predicted. Yeah, and the countdown has begun. Once Zeke manages to arrive here, it will be the time to unleash the rumbling, Eren says, making sure that Yelena isn't able to hear what he's saying. Flashback. So you'll begin the rumbling when all nine titans are gathered in one place? Historia asks in surprise. Yes, that means even though we have Armin and the others hostage, Anyankapan and Sasha will also let them out so they can help us fight Marley. And then we also need Zeke, Flock, and our soldiers are going to bring him to Shiganshina. And with that, all nine titans will be in one place and I will use the power to unleash the wall titans. Eren says. Instead of unleashing all at once, it will be better one by one because I don't want them to destroy our island as well. The people are trusting in you after all, Historia says. And while you unleash the rumbling, you're going to bring the other six titans back to their own families. Is that right? Yes, that's why we have a union back at our wedding, Eren says. And while the rumbling is slowly approaching outside of parody, 
Gloria, Aya, and some of our best pilots will also bring chosen ones to the airship so they will be able to avoid the rumbling. I hope your plan will succeed. Historia 6. Flashback ends. Flock brings Commander Hang to where Captain Levi is located. And when they find Levi lying on the ground, Flock says, No idea what happened, but lucky us. Our biggest threat is a bloody mess. I'll put a hole in his head. One of the soldiers says, He's dead. Hang says to them, A thunder spear blew up in his face. The blast shredded his insides, killing him instantly. Nice try, however, let me see him. I can take a pulse too. Let me see him. Flock says, Aaron already warns him that even though Zeke does a lot of damage to Levi, Levi isn't dead. Flock! Just then, a soldier yells, and they notice a pure Titan beside them starting to suck in steam. It's vanishing? It died. No. When Titans die and disappear, they don't suck in stream. Hang replies, the sun begins to appear, and Zeke comes out of the Titan's body, naked. Everyone can only stare with shock, and at the same time, Hang takes Levi's body while jumping into the river. They're getting away. Shit, the Yigurists are chasing after them. And Flock walks towards Zeke and says, Zeke, what happened to you? I don't know. Zeke replies, There was a strange girl building my body out of the soil. I was in some strange place watching it happen. It felt like years passed by, but at the same time, it felt like an instant. Then he realizes something. I see. Were those the paths? Zeke, you turned the 30 scouts that were guarding you into titans, right? Flock continues to ask, Where are they? Well, they are all gone, Zeke says. Now there's nobody here that will get in our way. Let's go. Then they all begin to where Aaron is located. At Shiganshina, Aaron is standing in front of the anti-Marley volunteers and his own soldiers. They watch as the Marley soldiers come from the airships. Aaron says, Just as I expected. Porco. Peak yells and Galliard uses the Jaw Titan's powers to break Peak's hand. And at the same time, Peak jumps down and transforms into the Cart Titan. Galliard tries to attack Aaron by slashing its claw, but Aaron just uses his ODM gear and dodges out of the way, and the same goes for the other soldiers. When Aya notices that Gabby is taken away by Peak in her cart titan form, she asks, Are you sure we're not going to do anything to stop them? To think Marley would launch such a desperate attack. Given what little they know, they shouldn't have taken this risk. Gloria says, Aaron, you should escape underground with the War Hammer Titan. Yelena says, If you fight, you're at a disadvantage. Sorry, but we're not running away. We will move forward. Aaron says, Aya and Mikasa, I need you two to back me up. Gloria, Louise, Peter, Odom, you guys bring the soldiers and try to destroy the anti-Marley weapons as much as possible. Roger. Gloria says as the three of them leave. Aaron says, Anyankapon. Inform Sasha about the situation and try to bring Armin and the others out here. Anyankapon also nods as he leaves. Aaron looks at Aya, who nods as she bites her hand. And just then, she starts to transform into a titan. That's... Galliard is shocked to see the female titan. Aya also roars as she hardens her fist and tries to punch at Galliard. But Galliard dodges and Aya punches the building. Aya, you have to be careful. Aaron says. Flashback. So this is Annie Leonhardt, the current female titan holder. Aya says after Aaron secretly brings her to where Annie is resting. You said that she manages to kill a lot of people. And just as you are about to let her pay for what she did, she decides to trap herself in the crystal. Aaron says. Yes. And since then... The scouts have had no idea how to bring her out. However, now everything will be different. I will take away the female titan powers and give them to you. Nobody will suspect as long as she is still in this crystal. Without the titan's power, she won't be able to get out. However, the moment I activate the rumbling, she will be freed again. I see. Aya says as Aaron decides to do the power transfer. Flashback ends. Damn it. Not only they got Bertolt's powers, but they also got Annie's powers as well. Galliard yells in her titan body. Aaron also looks up and sees Reiner. Bring it on, Reiner. Reiner then starts to transform in midair, and Aaron says, Only you could have convinced Marley to do something this stupid. At the same time, Yelena can only watch with surprise and mutters, Aaron, why? Mikasa stares at Aya and says, If she had the Titan, what about Annie? Still sleeping inside of her crystal. Aaron says, We managed to extract her Titan powers. She will be free from that soon enough. Aaron takes out a thunder spear and says, Mikasa, you do the right and I'll do the left. Right? Mikasa says. Reiner is surprised to see Aaron going with the same speed as Mikasa as they throw thunder spears at his arms, and it also causes him a lot of pain. At the same time, Peek and Gabby are running away, and Gabby says, Reiner, he really came. Once they finally arrive at where Magath and Colt are located, Magath says, Gabby, and much to her surprise, 
Magath hugs the girl and yells, Damn it, Braun! Why'd you go behind enemy lines? I am sorry. Gabby mutters. Unbelievable. Math says, Gabby. Colt rushes to her and says, Where's Falco? Gabby frowns and says, He's still in that building over there. He's being held since Zeke's spinal fluid got in his mouth. This causes them to gasp in horror. Seriously. He's being detained along with around 300 soldiers who drank it. Peek says, There are about 500 other soldiers in the area, but Zeke is nowhere in sight. Peek is taking out her gear and Magath asks, Reiner's fears are what brought us here. Can the enemy use the founding titan? It's safe to say that it's their trump card. However, Aaron Yeager is playing safely right now and he isn't trying to use it on us just yet for some reason. Peek says, What is he waiting for? Magath asks. Then Gabby remembers something. I'm waiting for the power of nine to arrive. I'm pretty sure that Reiner and the others are coming this way for another bloodshed. Aaron Yeager says that the attack titan has the ability to manipulate time and see the future. He's trying to have the power of the nine gather in this town. He knows about the attack and he has already prepared for it. Manipulate time and see the future? Colt gasps in shock. Now with Reiner, Peek, and Galliard here, there are eight of the nine here in this town. The only one left is Zeke. Magath says, But what is he going to do when the power of nine appears in this town? Peek says, That is something that we want to find out as well. But if possible, we can't let Zeke and Eren come in contact. At the same time, Eren and Mikasa are trying to dodge Reiner's attacks as they use their gears to jump around. Eren says, This isn't good. Our gas is going to get empty if we continue this up. What are we going to do? Mikasa asks. Eren says, I'll try to stall Reiner. You try to refill your gas. Mikasa. Just then, Eren growls and just then, Reiner is unable to move. What? I can't move. Then he notices Eren's eyes glowing while standing in front of them. Is that the power of the founder? I'll make you pay for trampling all over my home. Just as Galliard is about to attack Eren from behind, Mikasa yells, Eren! Aya goes for the blink and Galliard is also unable to move. What the, I can't move as well. Petrified blink. Eren says, a special move that only the true female Titan royal family can use. Mikasa then comes to Eren and says, I managed to finish fueling. Good. Just cover up for me. I'll fuel as well. Eren says while leaving and at the same time Reiner can also move. At the same time Gloria, Peter, Odom, Louise, and the others are trying to fight against the Marley soldiers, but some of them are shot and killed. Gloria asks, What the? Up there. Peter says, They find that the cart titan is standing on top of the wall, with Magath being the one firing the weapon. Load the next round. Well done, commander. Peek says to him after seeing some being killed. You mean, general? And Marley's military sure has fallen on hard times. Its best gunner climbed all the way to its highest rank. Aya says, I can't hold on, I'm sorry. Aya says as she blinks again, and this time it causes Galliard to be able to move. Reiner says, Damn it! Mikasa is still here. But however, Eren is now alone. This will be the end for him. Both Titans are charging at Eren, but Eren quickly steps out of the way, and just then, spikes come from the ground and impale Reiner and Galliard at the same time. I did say I'm not going to transform into a Titan while fighting you, but within the stop time I can just transform for 2 seconds, use the Warhammer's ability for 6 seconds, and then gets out of the Titan for 2 seconds. Eren says while standing beside Mikasa. As the Marley soldiers are still shooting, Gloria, Peter, and Oda manage to shoot their rifles at the soldiers from behind, causing them all to be killed. There are still a lot of them, and most of our people are killed. Odom says while using the shield to block the gunshot. I thought most of the officers were slaughtered. How'd they regroup less than a month? Gloria adds. Regardless, it is also thanks to Aaron Yeager's warning that we managed to evacuate the citizens and also strengthen our forces. Aya is also shot by Magatha's attack and Aaron yells, Aya! As Aya kneels on the floor, Eren quickly breaks Aya open from the nape and quickly hides behind a building. Aya, are you okay? I'm fine. Just give me some time to heal, Aya says. And at the same time, the spikes manage to disappear and both Reiner and Porco are able to move again. Magath says, The power of Warhammer is powerful, but its power exhausts quickly. Don't forget, this surprise attack was built on Willy Tiber's sacrifice. Like he gave his life to proclaim what we need is a Hellos, a new hero. A hero to save the world. Eren, Mikasa, and Aya are hiding behind a building. But Reiner and Porco are approaching the building. Reiner says, Eren, enough already. Everyone's suffered enough already. You've suffered enough already. Eren, Mikasa, and Aya can only stare at the window. Eren grits his teeth after seeing Reiner and Galliard approaching.